This is Star Talk. All right, let's move on to Victoria Huey coming to us from Earth. Um, okay, okay. Theor- theoretically, Dr. Tyson, do you think a superhero with the power of interuniversal travel could ever be truly possible? Or would the probability of the laws of physics in other universes being different from ours prevent that from ever happening? Could somebody do it? Awesome question. So in the multiverse concept. Yes. Uh, these Which, multiverses- by the way, in Thor, that is what happens. It is the interuniversal travel. Because Thor wait, opens, wait, from no. his world, opens up a portal. No, no, no. His world, I think his world is in our universe. He's just, the portal gets you from his world yeah. to oh, our okay. part of the world. All right, so there you go. Isn't isn't that world sectors, and we're one of those sectors? I think it is. I think I you're thought, right. I you're right. There are six sectors, right, exactly. and we're one of them. We're one of them. And so this is easy access from one sector so to another. So that's a wormhole. That's a wormhole. It's okay. essentially a wormhole. So, but this okay. would be an interuniversal portal from the multiverse. I got you. So in the multiverse, it's, the, it's prescribed by the fact that these are fluctuations in the quantum, the early quantum universe, all right? And quantum physics uh, is, is a fascinating understanding of the structure of matter on the smallest scales. Right. Uh, there's, there's particles that pop in and out of existence. I mean, it's a stunning reality that exists at those scales. Now, the whole universe doesn't do that unless the entire universe were the size of an atom. Then when you pop particles in and out of existence, you're actually popping universes in and out of existence. Whoa. Whoa. Now see, man, now I wish I had some marijuana because that is awesome (laughs) what you just said. Man, I should be high right now. That would be so cool. Here's my question. Because that would mean that- Wait, wait, wait. wait. Here's my question. That fact is so profound. Will the marijuana add to it or subtract? No, marijuana is definitely going to add to that. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I think of marijuana, I think of something that adds depth to something that doesn't otherwise have it. That is also true. This is what I'm saying. However, but now I'm handing you depth on a silver platter. Now, what it can also do is augment the depth that is already resident. Okay, I hadn't thought about the augmenting. Yes. Okay. So, right. you know, it can work both ways. It can make you look at something and go, whoa, when you shouldn't be doing that at all. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Just like, oh my God, <laughs> you put coffee in that coffee cup? <laughs> oh my God, dude, that is so freaking awesome. Okay. You mean it's a container completely devoted to just one liquid? <laughs> oh my God. Coffee cup. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> See? Or it could take something that is already mind blowing yeah. and then just cause you to get even deeper into that. Okay. Like the fact that popping in and out of the multiverse on a quantum physics level would mean that we are the atom that's popping in and out. Right. The whole universe is the atom. The whole universe is the atom, is the atom that's Correct. popping. See, that is awesome. Yeah. So here you have it. So now it turns out. All, our understanding of quantum physics tells us that if you pop a new universe out of this, right. the laws of physics will likely be slightly different. Okay, okay. So all, this ensemble of other universes are could be dangerous to visit, right? crossing from one universe to the other. And clearly the person who wrote that question understands this. Absolutely, okay. Victoria. So you would have to be a superhero who had law of physics resistant molecules that you were composed of. Right. So maybe there are certain configurations of matter and energy that transcend even the multiverse itself. Sweet. Then you'd make a superhero out of this super substance so that it could visit different universes, universes. and save people in all the different universes. But none, no one of us could do that right. because you could fall into a pile of goo. Right, if, just, by, just by popping just, out. Just by popping in because the, right. the, the, the forces that bind your molecules manifest differently from one, one universe to another. So there would be an, it, it would be an excuse to invent a new kind of substance out of which you would make this new kind of superhero. And this new kind of superhero would actually be a new kind of physics too because just like quantum physics is different, he would be the quantum physics of the multiverse because he's different. Uh, he'd be different, yeah. But but what's interesting is if you can make everything out of stuff that's different, then it wouldn't matter what universe you were in. That's true. Yeah, but you'd have to know how to interact with the stuff that isn't different. That's the, that's the fun part. 
See, this yeah. is why we need a marijuana, man. That's what I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Star Talk. 